This video is based on economies of scale, but what I'm going to be looking at is one specific type of internal economies of scale, and that is technical economies of scale. So just a reminder that economies of scale relates to uh, when a firm is able to expand its operations and increase output at the same time as actually being able to reduce its average unit cost. So in terms of technical economies of scale, it's the ability to achieve cost saving uh, as firms grow larger and arise from increased use of large scale mechanical processes and machinery. Now I'm just going to uh, use one example to kind of really demonstrate how firms, due to their size, can really take advantage of their capital goods to again, not only increase output, but also make it much more productive and reduce the average unit cost. And I'm going to be looking at Amazon. Meet Amazon's newest holiday workers, the Kiva robots. At this fulfillment center in Tracy, California, more than 3,000 of them cruise the warehouse floor, helping employees fill millions of orders. The little orange uh, robot goes out and picks the right pot of inventory and brings it back just at the right time for the person to pick the item out to go in that customer shipment. Before the Kiva robots, the workers used to walk the warehouse aisles picking up the items. But now they stay on these platforms and the robots bring the shelves and the items directly to them. The 320 pound robots can lift up to 750 pounds. They have motion sensors to detect objects in their way and can travel between three and four miles per hour. Amazon says the robot's small footprint allows it to squeeze in 50% more inventory into this warehouse, which is the size of 59 football fields. They've also improved efficiency by 20%, so it only takes 15 minutes to fill some orders instead of 90. On Cyber Monday last year, Amazon customers ordered 426 items every second. Amazon expects that number to be bigger this Cyber Monday. The process at an Amazon fulfillment center starts when products arrive by the truckload. The items are sent up to one of the four floors where Kiva robots operate. In this new generation fulfillment center, we have associates who are taking products off the carts and putting them onto the shelves that are, that are, are moved by our Kiva robots. A worker finds a space to stock the item on one of the moving shelves. It doesn't matter if there are paper towels next to board games, just as long as the robots know where to find it among the 21 million items. Then the robots wait to retrieve the item when someone places an order. From there, items are hand-picked and whisked away on miles of conveyor belts to be sorted, packed, and shipped. There's even a robot that folds the shipping boxes. While some may worry about robots taking jobs away from humans, Amazon insists that is not their intention. You're going to see there's 4,000 people working in this building, even with all the automation that's in place here. That's because our focus on automation is about helping people do their jobs, not replacing people. So far, 10 of the 50 Amazon fulfillment centers in the United States have integrated the Kiva robots. In Tracy, California, I'm Kara Suboy, CNET.com for CBS News. So you can see from this video how it really boosts the productivity of Amazon. The, uh, the fact that the uh, robots uh, have, again, um, directions that are stored. In fact, the floor and all has QR codes, which directs the robots in, um, well, where to collect the stock and where to take the stock and so on. And it's, as, as the video said, it's really improved the efficiency rate of the firm. And because they are so efficient and so productive, then they can meet so much demand and they're able to supply all of those orders that, uh, as it said on Cyber Monday, so in doing so, it helps them to increase the outputs because they can obviously produce more and meet further demand, but also at a much efficient um, rate, so therefore the average unit cost also falls.